In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding x and y intercepts of the graph of a nonlinear equation. And here we're asked to find the intercepts of the graph 9x squared plus 4y squared equals 1. So I will start by finding x intercepts. And we know that x intercepts always have a y value of 0. So I'm going to replace y with that 0 giving me 9x squared plus 4 times 0 squared equals 1. And simplifying, that would be 9x squared plus 4 times 0 squared is 0. So 9x squared equals 1. To solve for x squared, we would first divide both sides by 9. So x squared equals 1 ninth. And then to solve for x, we can take the square root of both sides. However, recall that when you take the square root of a variable being squared, there are two possibilities, either a positive or a negative x, with the square root canceling the square. Equaling here, the square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 9 is 3. So positive or negative x is 1 third. That means x can be either one-third or negative one-third. So now that we found our x values, substituting them in, we have two x-intercepts. We have a positive one-third zero and a negative one-third zero. So two x-intercepts. Going back, we'll now find y-intercepts in the same fashion y-intercepts have an x value of 0. So I'll replace the x with a 0 and solve for y. So I would start with 9 times 0 squared plus 4y squared equals 1. 0 squared times 9 is 0. So that simplifies to 4y squared equals 1. Dividing by 4 on both sides to solve for y y squared equals 1 fourth. Again, to solve for y here, I would take the square root of both sides, remembering that while we cancel the square root and the square, we have a plus or minus y equals the square root of 1 fourth, and the square root of 1 is 1, the square root of 4 is 2. So plus or minus y equals 1 half, means that y either equals a 1 half, or a negative one-half. So we found two y-intercepts as well. Our y could be one-half, or we could have a y-intercept of negative one-half. So for this example, we also have two y-intercepts. So we have found all the possible x and y-intercepts for this example.